Hi everyone, it's DM. Today I wanted to share a few things that I've been working on. So I finally took out my Lawn Fawn Build-A-House die that I got from last year and um, it comes with all the pieces that you see on the left here. So the pieces to like build the base of your house, um, pieces for the roof, windows, doors, as well as backing pieces for the windows. And then it even comes with like these pieces to make a window box. And then they do also sell like add-on pieces, like um, add-on sets, like this one on the right is a Christmas add-on set, which includes like the string of Christmas lights um, wreath, as well as another style door. And they even have like a Halloween one where like add-on set that you can make a haunted house. And um, so I just wanted to show you how my paper piecings turned out. And I did do them like in a, you know, pastel, Christmas theme again because I really love that and I think it's so ter like cute with all the little lights and then um also this year they did come out with a add-on set that allows you to make like a gingerbread house which I haven't purchased yet because like I wanted to put these together before I buy any more and I'm just gonna wait for the Black Friday sale uh so and then I also wanted to put like these houses on a project and um that's what I did here I use this wooden um, tag ornament that I got from Michaels last year, and then I paper piece this house that resembles the um, like Strawberry Shortcake's house, which is the Very Happy Home. And um, on the second floor window, you can even see like Strawberry Shortcake uh, peeking out from the window. Isn't it cute? And then I just added this um, My Creative Time bow here that I uh, die cut out and um, so now I have like an ornament to hang on my Christmas tree. Okay and then um, the next thing that I did was um, I did also get another house die set in and this time from AliExpress um, because when I saw like uh, the designer of the die which is Nicole Silhouette show it on her channel I knew like like I had to get it because like all these ideas came to mind and um, this is what it looks like. Okay, so now this is a quite a large set because um, it, it allows you to make like a treat box. So it comes with all the um, pieces to make the house, like the roof, um, even awnings, like window, I mean flower boxes, uh, window frames, the doors, as well as backing pieces and even shutters. And um, so it allows you to build a house which looks like uh, this. This was like the example on their site. And then um, like, so I really wanted to make a gingerbread house. And this is how it turned out. Isn't it cute? And then for the um, brown polka dotted craft paper that you see, like I did um, make that using a um, this polka dot um, background die that it that's from Lawn Fun and this is a must-have if you really like polka dots because it allows you to make like a polka dot background in any color so that's what I did for the base of the house and then I just added like a whole bunch of um, like little stickers from my stash like you see the gingerbread um, peeking through the windows like those are stickers from like Hobby Lobby and then like these little um, candy canes as well as these little gumdrop uh, pieces that you see they were just like fussy cut out from a like old Martha Stewart um, border paper pad that I have and it includes like all these little cute um, borders in here and I just fussy cut those out from this as you see here and then um, the wreath is like a sticker from Michaels it's a recollection sticker and then these little um, lollipops are from Hobby Lobby and then this double bow, like I made it using my Bodabra and I got the ribbon from uh, Dollarama last year. And then I just added like two little bell charms to the top there. And I really love how this um, came out. And then like these little nutcrackers were made from a die that I got off of AliExpress. And I'll try to link it in the description box below because you probably won't find it as it's listed as robots. Well, that's um, AliExpress for you. And then I just added this um, Merry Christmas uh, 
like sentiment that I cut out with a die. And then um, these strings of lights were actually made using another die that from Lan Fan, which is the um, mini string of lights uh, die set. And then this box is like pretty big, like it um, measures about five by five inches, the base that is. And then um, this part measures like three and a half inches. And then if you go to the top, it measures about like six and a half inches. And um, you could fit a lot of things in here. I just used a Velcro dot to keep it closed. And inside it's just holding some like shadow box ornaments that I made. And um, like these shadow box ornaments were made using a um, die that I got from the Andy store. And um, like I'll try to put a link to that in the description box as well. And this is like a strawberry shortcake themed one. And here I have like um, this cottage cuts die. It's like the, um, it's Mr. Snuggles and he's holding a strawberry shortcake rag doll. And then um, for the um, decorations, I just use like some things like the wreath is, again is from Michael's and then the little tree like you could get those everywhere these days. And then here's another one. And um, this other ornament um, was made using my Santa baby paper and things from the collection, such as like the chipboard stickers, the puffy stickers and flowers. And uh, like I decorated the back, the back as well. So really cute. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention that this um, gingerbread house, I mean not gingerbread house, but this house uh, treat box is from the KS Craft Store. And again, like I'll link it in the description box below. And then um, the next thing that I made was um, my witch boot die from KS Craft uh, finally came in. And well, it did come before like Halloween, like probably two days before Halloween. So um, like I didn't have time to make any like Halloween things with it. But I really wanted to um, go with a like Victorian boot because like if you look at this, um, like it comes with um, two sets of boots like one to make a large boot and one to make a small size boot and um, this is how it turned out like for this I just use some um, like this paper pad from it's a let me grab it here it's a Martha old Martha Stewart paper pad that I got and it's called the essentials paper pad it's so cute like it's it comes with all these like um you know uh, mint and blue as well as like um, you know silver and really pretty papers like it's got um, shimmery papers in here as well as like some vellum but, um, that's what I use for this and then I just um, like the die comes with like these pieces to make like this hanging part and like you could make it you could use it for a tag but i did make this little part here so that i could hang these charms and um like these charms i got off of aliexpress and this fan is so cute like it reminds me of those like um victorian ladies from the 1800s i guess and um this charm is also like a connector charm so i was able to add this little bow charm to the bottom of it and then I just used like some uh, trim that I got from Michael's years ago that I've been hoarding and I finally took it out to use. And I thought it went really well like for making this boot, um, like all the little details that you see. And then I just added this um, paper flower that I got from Dollarama and I glittered up, um, added some little trims here and there. And then I did make it into an ornament so like there's a hanging piece at the back. And then this little tinsel part that I use for the hanging part actually came from a um, like this Santa decoration that I got from Dollarama. And one of my subscribers called it um, a scary looking Santa, but this is what where it came from, this um, his beard. So that's what I used it for. And um, I think it turned out so cute. And then here's another one that I made, um, again, using that paper from the Martha Stewart paper pad. And this time I added this cute little butterfly charm that I um, recently got from AliExpress as well. And then um, the eyelash trim, like I used that to make the hanging part of the ornament. And again, it's from this, um, like this roll of trim that I got. Isn't it cute?
I really love how these turned out. Well, those are my project shares for today. And um, like, I also wanted to welcome all my new subscribers and thank you so much to my existing um, subscribers. And um, I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.